Good morning, everyone. So we are about ready to head to the track. It is day one of Rocky Mountain Race Week. So we are headed to the track, going to get teched in. We have the first race day today. Then we will, at the end of the day, get our map for Denver, come home, sleep at home again, perks of being in the local town of the uh, start and stop track. And then we'll drive to Denver tomorrow and race, I believe, on Monday uh, in Denver. Yeah. So no matter what happens over the week, the car made it. The big push to get it there, it's going to get there, hopefully, as long as we can make it about 15 minutes. And uh, hopefully we can go through the whole week. Hopefully the car will be real reliable and get us through the week and everything. Um, as I've been driving, I have to tighten up a few little bolts here and there as things starting to loose up from the new build. But uh, yeah, super excited. So we're going to head over there today, get teched in, see who's all there, and have some fun. So we'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, so we made it. Rocky Mountain Race Week 2019. Bides here, all teched in, good to go, everything passed. So we're going to get everything unloaded out of the car and get ready to make our first hit for tonight. Uh, my mom and sister are here. They're getting ready to do road week with us this week. So they're going to follow along and old American road trip, right? So <laughs> we'll see how it goes this week. But yep, everything's good to go. We're going to go up there, finish up uh, with some registration stuff. And we'll see what it'll do on the first pass. We're getting ready for the driver's meeting. Had a little bit of a rain, but look at all the people. About 200 people so far, cars and all these signups and everything. So uh, we're going to get through this driver's meeting, hopefully make a pass, and then get on with the week. All right, so we've been in line for a while, a couple breaks, got everything cleaned up. We're uh, almost about ready to make a pass. April's going to make her first pass, bring the car right back around, set it in the lanes because it'll take a while to get back up here, and then I'll make my first pass. We'll see kind of where we're at for the night, if we're going to make another one or not. Uh, and then we'll turn in our time slips and get our uh, map for tomorrow, but we at least both have to make at least one pass at each track. So that's where we're at. So everybody for watching we'll see how we uh we do here <laughs> ready yeah. all right here we go april's first pass of uh rocky mountain race week it's her birthday so everybody uh posted in the comments happy birthday but uh yeah so we'll see how she does she's gonna make a pass and i'll make a pass and then we'll see if we're gonna do more tonight or not Try to go, go to the right some. See how you're kind of off to the side of it? And now go straight. There you go. And put your wheel straight. Up, 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 stop. Hold the brake good and solid. When he does this. Okay, now gas. There you go, that wasn't bad. You want to try to hold it a little bit longer next time, but you're okay. Hands on the wheel. Slowly, 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 slowly. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Just wait. Go. because it's a pro tree so it's all three lights and then green so you got to be on it quicker but that's still good the car didn't cut out you got to do a little bit better burnout yeah we just got to work you just hold it for long because see how you let off and kept spinning yeah and it went, like you just try to keep holding that but like that's where you because the brakes aren't that good you get a bunch of brake and then bring it up and then you'll just keep feathering it okay. instead of you went like a lot and then none you just got to smooth that out okay but it didn't cut out it went at 2160, so it's a little slower from last night, so you can see it on the board. Yeah. But we'll find out here what you ran. Chuck. You drove it smoother too. Like whenever it kind of moves around. Yeah. You're pretty smooth at driving it. Oh, I don't think you had headlights on. Too. Put the headlights on. Two numbers on there, only one. Five eighty three. Thirteen five again. Did it go thirteen five again? Thirteen five four at one oh three. 
Greenville. 1354 at 103 mile an hour. So it definitely picked up a mile an hour. I changed the tune up to hopefully not limit it. And it looks like I found kind of whatever it's limiting. So definitely picked up on mile an hour. That's a super good mile an hour. So when I go make my pass, I'm gonna try to do a really good burnout. And then if I can get it to 60 foot, like a, even if it'll 20, 60 foot, then it, it should go 540 or maybe even a little bit better. So pretty good. Let's uh, go by the pit, get a drink, and then we'll go put it in the lanes. Switch spots. Put it right back in the lanes. Good job. Thanks, Dave. So April just made her second pass. The uh, GoPro must have died on us or something. So she went 13.43 at 104 mile an hour. So really good, 2060 foot. Uh, I think we're gonna try to pull the um, torque management stuff out of it for Vandermeer after we do the drive and all that. Um, and then see what we can do up there. Hopefully go mid 13s again. Hopefully we can get it into the low 13s by the end of the week. Uh, I might try to tune it too, depending on if we get to a town early and got a four or five extra hours just to kind of mess around. I'll probably uh, work on tuning the car on the street, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, we literally just made the pass, came back around and put it right back in the lane. So what do I get since I'm faster than you? Well, I gotta make this pass. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm faster. <laughs> so, uh, yep, that's what we're doing. She's actually faster than me with me riding with her, which I'm not sure if maybe having two people in this car is actually helping the 60 foot out. Um, so I'm actually doing a bigger burnout. She did a good one that time though, it was better. You kind of feel where it was like not spinning because you didn't give it enough. Yeah. And then you gave it enough. So she's learning it and picking it up. So we're gonna, I'm gonna make one more pass for my slip. So then we both have two slips. We can choose the best of the two slips. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Then maybe we can get out of here, get some rest and get ready for the drive tomorrow. We're gonna swap tires to the drive tires. We just got our map, uh, just basic direction, not even a map. It's just turn right here, turn left there. Going up by the Royal Gorge in the morning, Highway 9 up into the mountains. And then I think it's 70 something, 235 and 70 something uh, highway to get into Denver tomorrow. So uh, we're gonna put the street tires on just in case we hit rain or wound driving, whatever, we're not driving on the radials. Just putting the street tires on it. Uh, it's dark, so use our little port of light to uh, do work in the dark. and. Otherwise, the car ran pretty good today. April ended up going a bit faster. She went 1350 something, and uh, or actually 1340, yeah. and I went 1360. So every time she drives, she seems to get a better 60 foot. We're thinking when the car's cooler, it seems to run a bit better, or maybe she's just that much better. But uh, so we're gonna do this and get the heck out of here. All right, everyone, so day one was in the books last night. We're gonna go ahead and finish this one off here. We got the car loaded up for day two. We got to drive through the mountains up to Denver. So if you guys would, please hit that subscribe button so you can follow along as we produce the other videos from throughout the week. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, wish us luck getting there. And we'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.